8.5, the Cartesian equation of a plane. So now that you know how to find the vector equation, the Cartesian equation, this is going to be a pretty quick little lesson for you. So the equation in Cartesian form for a plane is ax plus by plus cz plus d equals zero. And in this case, the a, b, and c coordinates of x, y, and z are the normal to the plane. You probably remember that from when we had ax plus by plus c equals zero, and we said that a, a well, capital A, B, was the normal, right? The, the slope perpendicular to it. So here is the vector that's going to be perpendicular to the plane. Let's say this is my plane here. And remember that you can find that vector by doing the cross product of the two direction vectors. So if you're not given it, you will have to find the cross product, but sometimes you're given the normals. So let's do a couple of examples to help you um, solidify this little equation. First says, determine a Cartesian equation of a plane through the point four minus one, three, with a normal of three, five, and two. So it's very easy to do. All you have to do, and I'm going to write it out in pink first, I'm going to write out the equation. The Cartesian equation is ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to zero. And what you're going to need to find is d. Okay, so this is what you're going to be solving for. I'm going to find d. Okay, so find d. It makes you very happy when you do it because it's very easy. So here's my X, this is my Y, and this is my Z, and here's my A, and here's my B, and here's my C. So the only thing that's missing here is D, and that's what you're going to do. So let's plug everything in. We'd have three times four plus five times negative one plus two times three plus D is equal to zero. And this is going to give you 12 minus 5 is 7 plus 6 is 13. So 13 plus D equals 0 and D is equal to minus 13. Okay, so right away we can write out the equation. So therefore, um, we have 3, 3x plus 5y plus 2z minus 13 is equal to zero. Okay, so let's say you didn't remember how to do that, but you remembered how to do a dot product, and you know that the dot product can be used to help you, also helps you to find the equation. So if P0 is four minus one, three, so this is going to be example two, another way to do it. So we're going to say let P1, another point, x, y, z, be another point on the plane. And this is, this is quite an okay to do it. It's just a little bit longer on the plane. So that means the vector P0, P0, P1, dotted with the normal has to be equal to zero. So P0, P1 vector is going to be P1 minus P0. So my P0 is up here. So I have, this is going to be X minus four, Y plus one, and Z minus three. And I'm going to dot that with the normal and set it equal to zero. So I have x minus 4, y plus 1, z minus 3, dotted with 3, 5, and 2, has to be equal to 0. Because the dot product means it, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> oh, I did cough into my elbow, by the way. I have to set that equal to 0. So now I'm going to expand. That's going to give me 3x minus 12 plus 5y 
plus 5 plus 2z minus 6 is equal to 0. And if you simplify that, you're going to get right back to the equation that we found above. 3x plus 5y plus 2z minus 13 is equal to 0. Same, same. Okay, this obviously is the easiest way to do it. Just plug in your a, ABCs and XYZs and solve for D. Okay, so let's see, how would we do a question like this? That says, um, write the following vector equation of a plane as a Cartesian equation. So we want the Cartesian equation of this vector equation. So for a Cartesian equation, we need the normal. So we need a normal. And you know what that means. If you have two direction vectors, so this is my u and this is my v, and if we want to know the normal, then I have to take the cross product to find the normal vector. That will give us abc. Then we will sub in the point abc and you find d and you're done. Okay, so let's do that. So remember how to find a cross product. You write out the vectors twice. 2 minus 3, 0. 2 minus 3, 0. 1, 1 minus 1. 1, 1 minus 1. And we cut out these two like that. We cross them out. And then we do our crosses here with these numbers. So we multiply on the way down and subtract on the way back. So u crossed with v is going to be, um, let's look here, and we have minus 3 times minus 1, so that's 3, minus 0, and then we'd have 0 times 1 is 0, and minus minus 2 is plus 2, and then we have, um, oh, shouldn't be a bracket there, what am I doing? 0 plus 2, comma, and our z coordinate is going to be 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3, 2 plus 3, and we end up with 3, 2, and 5. So that's my normal vector, and that is a, b, c. Okay, so I'm all very happy because I have a, b, c, and I have x, y, z here. So we're going to say a is equal to 3, b is equal to 2, c is equal to 5, x is equal to 2, y is equal to 5, and z is equal to minus 1. And it's sometimes it's a good idea to write these things out. It helps you kind of figure out where you're going. So now I write out a, x plus b, y plus c, z plus d is equal to 0. Remember, you're trying to find d. So I have 3 times 2 plus 2 times 5 plus 5 times negative 1 plus d equals 0. And let's see what we get with that. We get 6 plus 10 is 16 minus 6 is 10. What is this thing? <laughs> 10 plus d, just a minute here, 6 plus 10 is 16. Minus 5, why would I say that's 6? 16 minus 5 is 11, Miss Haverat. This is supposed to be a D. I don't know what I wrote there. It doesn't look like anything at all. Um, where was I? I had 11. 11 plus D equals 0, so D equals negative 11. Therefore, now we write up plugging in D, so I have 3x plus 2y plus 5z minus 11 is equal to 0 is the Cartesian equation. Wasn't that nice? Okay, so that's all pretty easy, isn't it? You just have to identify, oh, was I off the page really far? I'm sorry. Let me leave it here. That's because I sneezed, moved the papers everywhere. Okay, so again, all we did was we had to find a normal. We used the cross product of the two direction vectors to get our a, b, c. We wrote out our a, b, c here with our x, y, z from here. We plug them in. We solve for d, 
you write out the equation. Bam, so easy. Okay, so the last little bag of tricks you have to know how to do is how to find the angle between two planes. So if you're gonna find the angle between two planes, you need to find the angle between two normals. So you need to know what the normals are of the planes. Now, when it's in this format, the normals are really easy, right? What's the normal for this plane? So let's call that normal one. That's going to be, so it's the coefficients of x, y, and z. So the coefficient of x is one. Hmm, I don't have any y's, what should I do? Oh, that means zero y's then. And we have minus one for the z. And for this plane, our normal is going to be two, one, and minus one. That's a two, not a z. Two, one, and minus one. Now, to find the angles, we go back to that lovely little equation that you learned so far back long ago. That was that the cos of theta is equal to, now we're going to use the normal, so n1, dotted with n2, so the dot product divided by, you've got it, the magnitude of the vectors. Okay. So all I have to do is plug those things in now. So the dot product is going to be 2 plus 0 plus 1. So 2 plus 1. And in the denominator, the magnitude of the first vector is going to be 1 squared plus minus 1 squared. That's going to be square root 2. And this is going to be 4, 5, 6. So square root 6. And that's going to give me um, 3 over the root of 12. This is kind of interesting. 3 over square root 12. Square root 12 would be 2 root 3, wouldn't it? And Let's say your teacher asked you to do this without using a calculator. Could you finish this work? I bet you could if you thought about it enough. Use a little bit of trig. So if I multiply by root 3 over root 3 to rationalize the denominator, I'm going to get 3 root 3 over 6. Let me move it up again. That's root 3 over 2. So cos theta equals root 3 over 2. Do you remember where cos theta is root 3 over 2? Think back to your special triangles. Let's do it. Let's draw some special triangles. We'll do, you know it has to do with the 30, 60 ones. So if this is 30 degrees here and this is 60 here, remember the long side is 2, 1, square root 3. So root 3 over 2 would be the cos of 30 degrees. So theta is equal to, and you don't have to put an ex approximately sign because it is exactly 30 degrees. Okay, so that's your lesson on Cartesian equation of a plane. If you like the video, give me a like, um, post some comments, um, tell your friends, tell everyone to come and watch my math lessons because I'll make you all really smart and you'll get into the best universities and like many of my students become doctors, lawyers, engineers. Actually, you know, last year I had seven of my students in medical school, my graduates, of course. And of course, they all attribute their success for being in my math class. Sure. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and tell everyone to subscribe. Bye for now.